This is the cheapest i9 computer ever. Let me explain. If we look at this computer, it says i9 ninth generation. Now I did pay $10 for this and I got it from my local electronics recycling plant because that's what they sell all of their used untested computers for. So that means that somebody just got rid of this system, threw it away, tried to recycle it, and luckily I was able to rescue it. The first thing that jumps out to me is it has a beautiful Seasonic hybrid power supply. Unfortunately, it didn't have all the power connectors with it, but it also has an Asus Prime motherboard. This is a very nice motherboard and a very nice chip. A couple things that jump out to me, there's no RAM, there's no SSD, that's fine. I can replace all those, use my own parts, but it looks like this motherboard probably had some RGB, so it was a really good motherboard. We also see that we have a really nice Nvidia Quadro card. It's only got mini display ports, but that's fine. It's a single slot card, which is really cool but I'm really excited to test this out and see if it's still working. Now to my absolute shock the system worked just fine as long as I installed my own RAM and as you can see the i9-9900K is in this motherboard and it works just fine. Now I was really surprised to find out that it was the K variant but this is a really great deal again. Now this is an old clip that I recorded from the summer but should I do a full video on the cheapest i9 computer likely the cheapest ever sold and if so should I pair it with the cheapest 3090 or at least the one that I made a video about a couple of years ago that was the cheapest at the time and honestly still is pretty cheap for what it is as I paid $500 for that 3090 um, let me know what I should do in the comments or if this is worth exploring and making a video on thanks for watching consider subscribing